that has been a request. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how to use the metric system using an easy step. No more memorizing how many grams are in a kilogram, how many meters is in a kilometer, how many uh, liters is in a centimeter, uh, center liter. So instead, we're going to go ahead and just simply move the decimal. That's it. If you're going to the right hand side, you'll notice that on this side, these are all large units. Kilo, hecta, deca. When you go to the right side over here, all of those are small units. Deci, centi, and milli. Now in the middle section here, those are referred to as your base. So for instance, I have a gram, liters, and meters. Grams could be kilogram, heptagram, decagram, decigram, centigram, milligram. Liters is the base, but I could say kiloliter, hectoliter, decaliter, liter, deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. And for the little m here, kilometers, hectometers, decameters, meters, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Meters represents length. Grams represents mass. Liters represents volume. Let's get started with how to use this system. Here you have an example where I would ask you to convert, let's say, 10 centimeters to a millimeter. Centimeters is here. All I'm going to do is go one place to the right. You're going to move your decimal one place to the right. So you're going to assume that your decimal was at the end of that number. So although you don't see one, you're going to assume that's one, that one is there and simply move it over one place to the right. So you end up with 100 millimeters. And all I did was move my decimal one place over to the right. Let's try another one. Let's say that I have, all you're going to do is simply start where the grams are, which is right here in the middle. Okay, that's where your grams are. And you're going to move your decimal back one, two, and three places to the left because that's the direction that I went. So I'm going to put my decimal here. And just go back one, two, and three. Right there. And fill in that little lump with a zero. So now my final answer becomes 0 0.0294 kilograms. Let's keep going. We have plenty more examples that we can follow. Suppose I have liters. You know, the infamous liters. And... Let me go ahead. I'm going to always have this as the, as the preface. Kilo, hecta, deca, the base, deci, centi, and milli. Again, you're going to have your grams, liters, and meters right here in the middle. Okay. Now, if I have, let's say, uh, 100 deciliters, and I told you to convert that to a liter, well, the liters is one space right next door to the left. So all I'm going to do is move my decimal back one place to the left. Assume that the decimal is at the end and go back one to the left. And I end up with 10.0 liters. 10.0 liters. Let's try another one. Let's say that I have um, 1,000 kiloliters. And I want you to convert that to, let's say, a milliliter. Okay, all I'm going to do is start where the kilos are and move my decimal that many places until I land at the milliliter. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to have to move my decimal six places over. So yes, that's going to be a very large number. So assume that the decimal is at the end and go six spaces over. That's going to give you one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to fill those little lumps in with zeros. And you have a very large number. As a matter of fact, let's say that, let's see here, we're going to put a comma here, comma here. That's a very large number. That's one million 
Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, one million milliliters. Okay, so all you're doing is moving your decimal to the right or to the left, depending on where you started and where you're going to end. Okay, let's try some more examples. Again, going back to our foundation of key, and you always want to have this as your outline, just simply because it helps you keep track of everything that you're going to have in terms of your conversion factors. You don't have to memorize anything. Just simply remember to move your decimal to the left or to the right. Again, on this side, all those units are very large. As you go to the right side, they become small. So let's try an example of, let's say I have um, 17 centimeters that I want to convert to a hmm, decameter. Okay, centi is here, deca is on this side. I'm going to start here and move my decimal one, two, and three to the left. So that's one, two, and three. So I end up with 0 0.017 decameters. Let's try another one. Let's say that I have one gram that I want to convert to a milligram. Milli is here. Gram is there. Because I'm trying to get to the milli, I'm going to start with gram and go one, two, and three. Three to the right. So again, you start where the decimal is. If there isn't one, you assume it's at the end and go one, two, and three. And fill those little lumps in with zeros. So I end up with 1,000 milligrams. It's just that simple.